Hi everyone, so this is going to be my New Year's resolutions for 2014. I still can't believe um, in a couple of days we will be in 2014. This year has been an amazing year, really, really great. The kids are getting that a little bit older, so it's just been so much more easier, if that makes sense. Um, and obviously moving into the bungalow, it just feels like home. It's just been such a great year um, and I can't wait for next year. It's just going to be like 10 times better, I reckon. Um, I will leave my New Year's resolutions from last year in the description bar if you want to see what I, um, you know, planned on for last year um, or this year. Um, so the first thing, I've basically been writing down a few things uh, when I think of them, to be honest, over the past sort of month or two. And yeah, I've got a nice little list here. Um, the first thing is buy more local. That is one thing I really want to start doing. Um, I have been tempted actually to go back to a veg box. Um, if you noticed previously, probably not this year, but the previous year I was like continually buying a local fruit and veg box. And I thoroughly enjoyed doing that. And um, to be honest, I can't really tell you why I stopped. There was a few reasons of being like, some of the fruit and veg just wasn't up to scratch and I'd be a bit disappointed one week and you know, it's not cheap getting these veg boxes. Um, but generally I want to buy more local, buy British, buy, you know, just buy more in season, that sort of thing. Um, and try and stick to like British brands. Luckily Waitrose is very good at that. You can see the label is always British and obviously like some things like bananas are just not gonna happen, but I just wanna get better at buying more local and um, I don't know, just, generally that sort of thing. Um, my next uh, news resolution is see more distant relatives. Um, as you've probably noticed, I, in a, a few weeks ago, day in her life, I actually said that my nan passed away and she did and it was really sad and it was just horrible and I think the most, the worst feeling that I felt was guilt because I don't feel like I knew her well enough and that was down to my part really. Um, she only lived not that far away. She lived like 40 minutes to an hour drive away, which isn't that long really. And being a stay at home mum, I could have easily got to her more often. And I felt like I, I should have made more effort and I felt guilty on my part that I didn't get to know her better. And I just wanna, this year I wanna make sure I see more distant relatives, make more effort. It's so important family and um, yeah, that's another New Year's resolution that I definitely want to do better at, not just this year, but just forever, really. Um, <clears throat> my next New Year's resolution is get more creative. Um, I want to get crafty for myself, not just for the kids, because obviously I do a lot with the kids anyway. And I probably could step it up a bit and get a bit more crafty with them, especially as they're getting older. But generally, I want to get better for myself. I've got a sewing machine. I used to love sewing back at school, that was just one of my favourite things. I got an A star um, in my exam doing um, textiles, I absolutely loved it. And I would love just to get back into doing that sort of thing, just getting more crafty and I've got so many supplies that I just never use. And again, now the kids are getting older, it's giving me that free time just to do something for myself I suppose. So that's another thing. Um, so another uh, New Year's resolution is have a successful veg patch. Last year my New Year's resolution was to have a veg patch, this year is to have a successful one. Okay, well we've got such a big land, we've got such a big space to have like basically a big allotment really. And we just, it was, it was so overwhelming last year, I don't know why. I don't know if it's because Violet was still so young and she wasn't really walking over the spring period. So it's hard for me to get out and keep on top of it. And I think now this year she can participate and so can Alistair, of course. And I just I just want to get a really good veg patch this year. I'm so looking forward to getting out and start planting and planting inside. And um, I just want it to be good. And we've got such an amazing space to do it in. I know it can happen if we just put our minds to it and... You know, Graham obviously needs to help me too. <laughs> but that is one thing I really want this year, is have a successful veg patch. Um, my Another New Year's resolution I've just read is spend less. Um, as you probably know, I do like to shop. I am a shopper and 
I do like to sell shop as well, but generally I'm a big shopper. I just love it. It just it just gets me in a really good mood, um, especially if I'm on my own or online shopping. But I just want to get better with it. I just sometimes I think I spend too much on stuff that I don't need, and I need to be a bit more thrifty and I don't know. Um, sell on more. I, I'm a I'm not a hoarder, but. There is a lot of stuff in our loft at the moment and waiting to go in the loft at the moment that I probably could sell or take to charity shops, that sort of thing. So I just need to spend less and just be a bit more thrifty basically. And my last New Year's resolution is complete the house. So we've been living in the bungalow, it will be a year in March, I can't believe it's come around that quick, but we haven't finished it and you can probably tell we haven't finished it because I haven't showed you half the rooms yet. But we seriously haven't finished it. I'm always, always like, like looking at the house thinking that needs to be done, that needs to be done. I've got like a whole list of things need to be done. And I really want this bungalow to be completed by the end of the next year. Um, so it's going to be a tough one because there's stuff that needs to be do done outside too. But it's totally doable. It's not going to be expensive either. This is just stuff like hanging on walls, <laughs> putting stuff away, um, doing a little bit of gardening. Um, that sort of thing. So that is pretty much my New Year's resolutions for the next year coming. I'm so excited to just start ticking off all these things and um, just getting stuff done really. Um, I'm going to actually probably write these out and laminate it and then stick it on my wall in the office just so I see them every day and it will remind me every day that I need to do these things. Otherwise, you know, it's like you do forget. I actually can't even remember my New Year's resolutions from last year, which is pretty bad. I think I need to go back and watch that video. Um, so, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you've got any New Year's resolutions that you are recording or anything, just um, comment below or, um, yeah, just link your video so I can watch it. Hope you've had a lovely Christmas and have a really good New Year. And I'll see you in January. <laughs>